Travel across America with me. We're in Richmond, Virginia. There's so much to see and do here. We're traveling throughout the South, from Birmingham to Richmond, through North Carolina, and all points in between. But today, I wanted to show you the incredible Egyptian building. I'd heard about it. I'd seen it on the map. Couldn't figure out how to get to it because it's tucked away on the Virginia Commonwealth University campus and medical center. We parked at Court End and walked down to see this incredible structure. The Egyptian building has been designated a registered National Historic Landmark. It is also a registered Virginia Historic Landmark. Of course it is. Isn't this structure incredible? Wait till you hear all about it. Have you subscribed? If you have, thank you. And if you haven't, would you subscribe? In October of 1844, Hamden Sydney College's medical department first taught classes in this Egyptian revival structure designed by Philadelphia architect Thomas S. Stewart. Completed in 1846, it provided educational and clinical facilities for the medical school, which later became a centerpiece of the Medical College of Virginia. It is now part of Virginia Commonwealth University. The structure, named the Egyptian Building in 1927, was extensively renovated 12 years later to carry the Egyptian style to the interior. Couldn't get in the doors, we tried. As one of the nation's finest examples of the Egyptian Revival style, the Egyptian building was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1971. I don't think I've ever seen a building in Egyptian Revival style. If you have, tell me where that is in the comments. In the plaza in front of the Egyptian building, we found this sculpture of Hippocrates, fittingly. 460 to 377 BC. Life is short, art is long, Opportunity fugitive, experience delusive, judgment difficult. And this is donated by Virginians of Greek ancestry. This structure was the first permanent home of the medical department of Hamden Sydney College. The building is constructed from brick stucco and cast iron. Its battered walls, thinner at the top than at the bottom, give an impression of solidity and height. This effect is emphasized by the relatively minimal windows for a five-story building. These windows are diamond-paned and incorporated with a style break. A primary feature of the building is its distyle and antis porticos with monumental columns at each end. The columns have intricate palm frond capitals. The shafts of each column represent bundles of needles, taking you to historical, educational, and architectural landmarks. Wait until you see what I have in store to show you in Richmond. Not only the Capitol, St. John's Church, remember Patrick Henry? Do you remember his famous statement? The John Marshall House, the Confederate White House, Maggie Walker's house. Who is Maggie Walker? And of course, we went to the Hollywood Cemetery and saw the four most famous graves. And one stop at the Richmond National Battlefield at the Medical Hospital Museum. You won't believe what we found at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum. You'll have to wait for those videos. So much to see and do in the South. Flip-flops on the ground. And classic road trip. Have you subscribed? If you have, thank you. And if you haven't, would you subscribe?